Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to be talking about hold your breath, conspiracy theories. Hang around. Conspiracy theory! It's all a conspiracy! Oh my god! Everything is a conspiracy. It's all a big plan, a big plot. Well, that's what people say sometimes on the internet. I'm sure you've watched a few Alex Jones videos. I'm sure you've seen a few David Icke uh, speeches. You know, the giant lizards apparently are controlling our destiny, secretly running things from, you know, like underneath like bunkers in Colorado or Denver somewhere. You know, so this is a, a, a little video I wanted to do about the topic of conspiracy theories. Um, because it always seems to get people upset when you begin to talk about conspiracy theories. And I just wanted to say, I don't have a problem with conspiracy theories, but I wanted to say something up front about conspiracy theories. They are conjecture. You know what I mean? When you talk about a conspiracy theory, it's like you are saying, oh, I think this might have happened or could have happened. Like you are not 100% sure. You know what I mean? Like it is conjecture. It's like saying... Oh, okay. I think that might have been the case, but you aren't sure. You're not like a scientist. You don't have like every single fact laid out before you. You can be wrong when you talk about a conspiracy theory. So I think people need to have that at the front of their mind when they discuss conspiracy theories. You can be wrong, okay? You are attempting to be involve a kind of speculative kind of thinking. And I think someone like Alex Jones, you know, has gotten in trouble. For example, you know, he, he claimed that the Sandy Hook attack was. Um, false somehow and then he changed his mind on that and he had to go back but to me his opinions about Sandy Hook I never agreed with them but he's welcome to them you know and that if he was wrong in that case okay he was wrong and he should be able to say he was wrong he is a conspiracy theorist he is occasionally going to be wrong and obviously there are different kinds of conspiracy theories for example there's uh, like a volume is writing I've got some of it here in this house on the JFK conspiracy now I'm fascinated by the JFK conspiracy I've got about 10 or 15 books on it I've read about half of them and it's a fascinating topic now there is some legs to the to the idea that there was more than one shooter than, than Lee Harvey Oswald. If there was more than one shooter, that means there was a conspiracy. So that is a very, what you call a strong conspiracy. There was probably a very strong chance that there was more happening on that day in Dallas than we know about. So that would be called a conspiracy theory where there is a lot of legs. Now you're still when you talk about it, it's still conjecture. You don't fucking know because there's a lot of weird stuff going on that day. You probably will never know. It's still conjecture, but it's still a very, very strong chance there was something weird going on. Now, then there's the flat earth theory. That's absolute fucking bullshit. I mean, I've flown in a plane um, in the 1990s. I flew to um, Sweden, I think it was. I was going to a film festival in Sweden and it was at a time before September 11 when, you know, if you knew somebody who was, a, who was like a stewardess or we knew somebody on the plane and he said, come up to the pilot's booth and you could sit up with the pilot and we could talk to the pilot. Anyway, you could see the curvature of the earth and we could see like the the aurora borealis which is like the colored lights coming into sweden so we saw that and you could see the curvature of the earth so it's utterly ridiculous that the earth is is flat i've been up high enough myself and seen it with my own eyes the earth is round and you can also see it um in an eclipse you know i mean if the earth was flat wouldn't it be like a disc you know so it's utterly ridiculous so there's something like the jfk conspiracy which seems to have a lot of legs that there's something more going on and then there's flat earth which is complete bullshit okay so between those two poles are all the other conspiracy theories. Now, 9-11, the 9-11 conspiracy theory, is, in my opinion, reasonably strong. Because, like, why did Building 7 collapse? I and mean, why did it collapse in free fall? And also, why did, um, you know, uh, the two World Trade Centers building, why did they collapse in free fall? There have been buildings that have been on fire of that make before, and they've never collapsed in that way. And all this excuse about, you know, the fuel being so hot and all this stuff, it's all bullshit. And people heard many different explosions coming from that building. And there's a lot of evidence um, that there were people in that building before. If you look into it, conspiracy theories of September 11th, there is a chance that there was something going on there with uh, September 11th. So, um, you know, I think, but again, it's conjecture. I don't say maybe that event is exactly the way it appears, you know, and this conjecture, somehow we don't understand something about it you know or whatever maybe the the weight of the two other buildings falling down caused building seven to fall down i don't know i think that's the official story um so it is conjecture and i don't think people should get upset that you are having that you have a theory 
and that you don't know 100%. It's like, I think I know. It's a bit like almost talking about religion, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I think this is the case in relation to God or whatever particular religion you believe in. Um, I think it, it's conjecture at times with um, conspiracy theories, and it isn't controversial, and we should not be wanting to shut people down. We shouldn't be banning Alex Jones or, or David Icke, who's banned from Australia now, just because they have these unusual ideas. Now, David Icke is a classic example. Now, I personally don't believe there really are lizards running around and that the, the British royal family are secretly lizards. Now, some say that's a code word for um, well, either a kind of globalist kind of person or it's a, it's a code word for a kind of mindset, a kind of elitist... Um, Carl Sagan, I watched a great show, there's a part of our brain that is a reptile brain, like the human being, that's all of us, we have a, a part of our brain that's very reptilian because we evolved from reptiles. And um, there's a part of our brain that's based around, um, you know, when like a reptile thinks it's, it's very predatory and it's very aggressive and it's like a lot of the darker impulses in humanity come from the part of our brain called the reptile part of our brain. Maybe David Icke is talking about that and he's talking about it in a metaphor. And that's the way I look at when he says lizard. I don't really think he means that there are actually giant fucking lizards running around. And, and maybe there are. There's a small chance. I don't know, there's one in a thousand chance. Maybe aliens have landed and, and there is uh, these shape-shifting lizards. So who the fuck knows? But like, again, it is conjecture what he's saying and it's not a problem that he says it. You know what I mean? We should all stop getting upset about fucking conspiracy theories. Some are clearly a bit more ridiculous. Flat Earth is obviously ridiculous. Um, and the lizard thing seems to be ridiculous. But then is it a metaphor? Is it a metaphor for maybe a part of our brain? Or is it a metaphor for the globalist elite class? We don't know. But like, you know, we shouldn't be so upset. We shouldn't be banning conspiracy theorists. And that's what I wanted to say on that. And that's my little rant on conspiracy theories. And, you know, who knows? Maybe I'm with the conspiracy. <laughs>